<clears throat> Good evening guys, I just wanted to do a quick update because I know I haven't uploaded in a few days and uh, and there's a lot of comments that have been posted and I just haven't had the time to get to them and simple reason why is because at the casino where we were at there uh, I had no internet really to speak of on my phone and so the limited amount of internet I had we had to go over to the casino to get and so I didn't want to spend all my time at the casino uh, so I just didn't I just didn't really do much with YouTube comments and whatnot so uh, the good thing is the positive thing is is that in the time that uh, I was with this group at Quinault um, the subscriber count went way up and also from Eric's video, Nomadic Fanatics video, and Aja's videos, and James' videos, Wanderlust Estate. Um, a lot of new people came on board, and I appreciate very much you guys being here. Welcome aboard. Um, just in the last couple days, over a thousand people have subscribed to this channel. Somewhere around a thousand people. So, uh, thank you guys very much. That's very much appreciated. The only downside is, is that with that came a lot of comments. And since I didn't have internet, I was not able to respond to those comments, and so I don't want to seem ungrateful. So I want you guys to know that I saw your comments, I read every single comment, and um, of course there were a few haters in there, and those comments will not be shown. You will not see those comments. And so haters, you're on notice. It's They're not getting through. They're just not. Um, and then the other part of it was that I, w I got sick the last day at... Um, Quinault, the, the Quinault Casino uh, campgrounds, um, and the reason why I realized was because I, I was not eating well. We, the food was great, but it was casino food, so it was a lot of fried food. It was a lot of sweet desserts, and it was just basically four days or three and a half days of just eating food that tasted good, but my body was not happy with me. So by the time I was ready to leave on Friday morning. I did not feel well at all and it was bad enough that on the way home I had to stop on the side of the road and yeah um, yeah I, I got really sick so all that to say that I it took me a little bit to get back here and recoup so I got back Friday uh, Friday evening and uh, and also is that my personality type is that I really enjoy hanging out with people and, and socializing with people but it also has an energy energy drain effect on me and so while it was a lot of fun by the time I got done with it I had to have some downtime just to recharge and I, I've heard other people talk about that being that type of personality too so I don't feel bad about it but it just means that um, if I have a lot of social interaction with people then I need like a day or two just to recuperate uh, because I I felt run down by the time I got back on Friday and it's nothing negative about the people everybody was great in fact I have to say um, and I have one more video that's going to go up about the meetup but I still have to edit it so this video you're going to see right now is not going to be edited this video is just going to be put up tonight it's just going to be uploaded in its raw form so hopefully I don't screw that up too much um, but everybody was really fantastic. Uh, there were some rumors circulating that that some people were turned away and that uh, from the camp at meetup and that uh, some people showed up and they just got brushed off. That was completely fabricated. And the reason you should know it was fabricated was because we did not, no one there, none of the people that were there for the meetup controlled entry and access to the campground. Uh, that was all controlled by the casino. It's on Indian reservation uh, property, or in, it's a sovereign property of theirs, and so they controlled. They controlled the whole thing. They had security rolling through there multiple times an hour, and so there was no way that anyone there could have refused any of us. That is, there was no way that any of us could have refused anyone coming in, uh, because it wasn't. We don't have any say in it. It's not the pro you know the property belongs to Quinault. Um but they were all fantastic. Everybody at the casino was really great, and they said that they really uh, enjoyed having us there, and they they were very pleased with our group, regardless of what some haters might say. Quinault said they were very happy uh, with us being there, and um, a lot of, there were even people that there were waitress one night that told us that she had, uh, because of all the the rumor mill that had started, she had actually gone to YouTube to watch some of the videos just to see 
what we were all about. And so she said she then shared those, or shared what she found. She shared it with her management, and uh, they were impressed. So uh, regardless of what you may hear, there was no drama. There were no problems. And I also have to say that everybody was so generous. Um, I tried multiple times, you know, because we obviously ate multiple meals there, and so multiple times I went to pull my wallet out, and people were insisting on paying for us. So I only think I bought one meal the whole time I was there, because every time the bill came due, the check came, somebody would grab it up or insist on paying, and so um, people were so generous. There was one couple, there was one couple there that um, that bought all of our meal. Our, it was a buffet night. And they bought buffet. They bought the buffet for all of us, the entire group, all the YouTubers that were there. It was such a generous, generous thing that they did. And you guys know who you are. And I, I thank you, as 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 did the rest of our group. Um, they were all very thankful. We were all very thankful that you guys did that. It was a very nice thing that you did, um, covering our meals. And uh, it was really nice meeting everyone that made the effort to, to come out and meet us. And of course, I, I do not have an inflated sense of this about myself or this channel, because my channel, out of all the YouTubers that were there, and my channel is the smallest one. Um, it's it's the baby channel in there amidst, you know, Nomadic Fanatic, Pandemonium, Caravan Carolyn, Wanderlust Estate, um, Living Free, Deborah Joy. I mean, my channel is small. So, um, but they still treated me with all the same generosity that they treated the rest of the group, and so it was very appreciated. Thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to doing this again. It was a lot of fun. So, uh, I just know now I have to remind myself that uh, as much fun as it is, I can't just eat whatever I want for four days without there being a toll on my body. And also that uh, after that much fun of social interaction, I have to have a day or so downtime or two just to recuperate so I've been back now for uh, oh about 24 hours and I'm just now I'm just now starting to feel recuperated um, I got home on Friday night took Magnum to the dog park and got back to my rig and I was in bed and asleep by 930 in the evening and that is unheard of for me but I was just exhausted and I think I slept 11 hours last night that should tell you something I never sleep 11 hours either so um, but I woke up felt better and uh, yeah back to back to the grind back to the usual daily routine which uh, is has its own comfort just being back in my home area and being able to go back and get back to the usual routine seeing the usual people seeing usual friends and family and so uh, I am excited to be back and look forward to the next meetup and until then um, oh let me show you the animals because I'll be in trouble if I don't. So, here, let me check my let me check my viewfinder. So there's Stanley. Hey. You're on camera. You shouldn't do that on camera. What are you doing? What are you doing? Rah, 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 rah. Yeah, you see, he's a pretty good cat. He likes to play rough, but he knows he knows not to play any rougher than he wants it back. And then there's Magnum. And Magnum's already had his dinner and his little melatonin, so he's ready to be left alone for the night. He says, let me sleep, don't bother me. Right, buddy? Alright. Well, I will see you guys on the next video, and hopefully I will, um, hopefully I'll have, oops, sorry, hopefully I'll have that video up tomorrow, um, but it is a little bit of editing. And it's just basically a little day three, day four at Quinault. And then uh, I think there's a little bit of footage of the drive home on Friday night. So, But I did want to go ahead and put this up. And since it didn't require editing, I knew I could just throw it up um, because it's just going to be a raw video. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Welcome aboard. And, uh, and I, again, apologize that I have not been able to respond to the many, many comments that you guys have been leaving. Uh, it's because I'm just now getting back into the groove and just now getting back to having internet on my phone. Who would have ever thought that, you know, I'd miss something so much like having unlimited internet on my phone like I do in the city. And then you leave the city and you got nothing. So, uh, at least internet-wise. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.